So this week we're gonna start talking about a project that actually we started a long time ago. Just a hint, it's based on stainless steel. So <laughs> let's get started. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And for the past year we have been building our own tiny shipping container house, so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are gonna stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're gonna go back and finish the house. <laughs> the sun is so hot today. Yeah. I think we need to show you some things quickly here and go down to the shadow. <laughs> yeah, otherwise if we don't go to the shadow, we're gonna be burned for the next week's <laughs> video. Yeah, but basically what we want to show you here is our main the stainless steel project that we've been working on for a few weeks now already. <laughs> a few months, I yeah. guess. One of the big news is that, I don't know if you remember, but we took this arch off. We didn't talk about it, but in the image, one day just disappeared the arch. <laughs> yeah, we took the arch off and that was part of a, huge, a much bigger plan, right? Yeah, we have a lot of welds and today we are going to talk about all the welds we have been doing on the boat. Yeah, on the past month, we, I don't know, you know already, we hired Eduardo to help us with the diesel tanks. And while we help Eduardo with everything he needs, we also help Pedro, the welder, to create all these small projects and big projects also. So we could do a lot in one month. Yeah, we are going to talk all about the, the project. Downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah. So but for now, let's give just them a yeah. hint. Check this out. Can you tell any difference on the boat here? I don't know if the light's good, but check it these out what do we have there uh, rigid rail <laughs> yeah basically we really really love the idea of having a safe deck with a rigid rail and why that our deck has an angle like this and it's kind of dangerous to stay here yeah it's really hard to walk around it's not it's you know, those kind of things that is good but it's bad. Yeah. The deck is, have a huge angle and that's because the water won't stop there and won't create rust on the metal of the hole. Hole? Hole. Hole. Yeah. But at the same time, it's weird to walk around. We got used to it already, but for who never came to the boat, the first time they always like scary of walking on deck. So now we have a much safer railing system. When we bought the boat, yeah. He was actually excited to buy the boat and on the next day when we came here the And the first boat was time, ours Yeah, the first time that the boat was ours and we came here slowly He was like walking around and thinking I don't know if we, we did, did the, the right, right thing, thing Because yeah. this deck's so weird. weird Yeah, it's funny because we bought like, you know when you were like impulsive And we bought the boat, it was like we cannot lose this deal and then the next day I'm like, Ooh, I, I'm not sure if we did the right thing. But like two days later we were used to the deck and we can walk easily, it's fine. But it's still safe first. Yeah. So this rigid rail is gonna be really, really good. We actually didn't finish yet, but no. we're gonna talk about that downstairs because yeah. it's too hot here. What do you think, looks good from down here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as we have a lot of welding projects, let's start from the bow to the stern. Yeah, let's do, <laughs> just to make easier to explain, we are going to do in, in small baby steps, baby projects. <laughs> What's the first one? The first one is the pooped. Yeah, the pooped. When we arrived in the boat yard, I was on the wheel just trying to feel the boat for the first <laughs> time, you know, like just our brand new boat and just sitting on the, on the helm. And I look forward and I'm like, something is weird with the pooped. What was weird? It was kind of twisted. Yeah, yeah the, the tip of the poop was just twisted. I guess the former owner hit something and was twisted. And we were like, it's gonna be weird to have a boat that every time you go sailing, you look at that and be like, oh, I should have fixed that. And I didn't when I had the chance. So Duke and Chico took a day to take the poop it off and took it to the shop. Yeah, Pedro be shop. because it's much easier for Pedro to fix that on his shop than here in place. And it's here is high to work and he might fall. <laughs> we don't want accidents. We had one already. We don't want other accidents <laughs> on the on the boat yard. So basically we took off and took to his shop so he could fix. And yeah. that was like seven months ago. <laughs> and we forgot for months about that because we were painting the boat. Yeah, it was like their storage there and it we did yeah. 
Yeah, because one more thing to worry about when we are painting, so we need one more thing to, yeah. you know, to cover and to it's, it's to wrap, it's just was too much. So, second project. The arch. The, we're gonna skip to the back, of, to the stern now, yeah. <laughs> it's just the two tips of the boat, so the bow, that's one problem. On the stern, we have an arch. That actually, it was really good, it was not yeah. bad. The, no. This arch is really strong, the walls of the pipes are really thick. It's a really nice arch. But? We are going to have more solar panels there, so we wanted to reinforce the, the arch. Yeah, and we wanted just to change the, the support for the solar panels, and it would be much easier to work not on the top of the boat, <laughs> on the you know, to take it to the shop, because here it would be really scary for Pedro to weld all the way up there. It, would, it wouldn't make sense, so we decided to take the arch off and send to Pedro's shop, shop. like everything. We have like a lot of things <laughs> sitting on the Pedro's oh, shop. Almost all Half the, of the, boats the stainless steel there. of our boats there. We also wanted to reinforce the things that we put the dinghy up because yeah. we are changing our dinghy. Actually, we changed it already. Okay. I don't know if you can see the yellow thing there. It's our new dinghy. Yeah, surprise. We, we didn't open also okay. yet. It's, it's, we, we didn't see our new dinghy. It's been sitting there for a week now already. But we have so many things to do that we just didn't get the time to open. And as we are going to travel to the States next week, as you probably know, I mean, right now, when you're watching this video, we are in the <laughs> States, I guess. Yeah, we are. We are in Miami. Yeah, we are in Miami <laughs> when you watch this video. But the dinghy that we used to have, I mean, that we still have, we sent to a shop that they're going to fix a little bit and they're going to sell cheap. Yeah, there Just so we don't lose the, the dinghy. There, it was all inflatable, even the bottle, and it, there were some holes there. So we went to fix this. And the glue was just opening yeah, many the glue places. Was opening. Yeah, we're going to sell cheap to someone that is willing to use our old dinghy. But we know dinghies are uh, something that if you you have a thing that's always uninflating and it's always like the glue is losing it's just we wanted a new one so we can it's we're gonna live on the boat the thing is gonna be our car we wanted a yeah. good dinghy and we wanted a hard bottom one a good car <laughs> yeah yeah we also bought the engine for the dinghy but that's we also didn't open the engine yet still the box i don't know if you see the blue right in the back there is a blue thing underneath <laughs> of that is the engine but we didn't open also yet so the third project yeah no but i mean like just just to finish that the dinghy this one is much heavier than the other one ah, yeah, that's and that's the reason the why we first. reinforce the little thing that hold the dinghy because we didn't want a arch that's going to be falling apart really soon and also the side movements we did some reinforcements on the corners also because it helps to not having this move and the old dinghy was 3.1 meters and this is a little bit smaller yeah. because we are planning on putting on the deck when necessary travel. yeah that's that's one problem that we still didn't solve is that we love the dinghy on the arch but on the other hand we always dream on having a wind vane a wind vane must be really must be so cool to sail with a wind vane mm -hmm. but when we do a bigger crossing that we're going to actually use the wind vane the dinghy is right on the top of the wind vane i think it's not possible to have both things at the same time yeah, two bodies won't be <laughs> it's physics law right two bodies on the same spot at the same time won't work <laughs> So basically, we need a solution to put the ding on the deck, but it's a little bit too big still. We're gonna find a way to put the ding on the deck yeah. when we do big crossings. But for small crossings, we're gonna take the wind vane off and leave the ding on the back. So we have a really reinforcing arch. Yeah, it's rumbling, but that's basically the reason why we reinforce the entire uh, arch. Call? arch. <laughs> and the solar panels, we talked about the solar panels already. We are changing the solar panels, actually we are adding some solar panels and the idea was to keep our old ones. Yeah, I, I, four. I don't know if you remember, but on New Year's episode we talked about that we got from Zentrax, they're really nice and they sent us <laughs> three solar panels. So because the, idea, the idea was to keep our old ones, but, but add some extra ones. Uh, yeah, but at, when we took off our old ones, we noticed that it was corroded, the, the frame. The some, aluminum frame. It's amazing how 22 years corrode aluminum in touch with uh, in stainless steel because you know electrolysis and it was destroyed the frame. I mean even though the the, f the solar panels still work, yeah. the frame is just destroyed. So the idea is not to use them because nowadays the efficiency of uh, solar panels is really good. Yeah, so basically the old one produces half of the energy with the same area if we exchange for new ones. So we are going to donate to Duca's dad to yeah. use all and their house. Because he go fishing and he has a car battery to have a light on the boat yeah. and then he can charge these batteries, he just leave on the ground and so it's, it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's, it's actually, yeah, it's actually <laughs> Christmas 
present brief <laughs> late <laughs> yeah because we couldn't take to him but he knows already and uh, yeah because it would be ex more expensive to fix the frames yeah. than to buy new yeah. solar panels so right now we are gonna build the frame for three solar panels thinking already that we are gonna add another three in the future yeah so arch check you understand the arch now So right now we're trying to find all these cables to see where they need to come from and how to take them. They working? Yeah, I'm just. It's just funny because it's generating almost the same energy, dirty, than clean compared to the clean. That's so weird. It doesn't make sense. The only bad part is the the frame. The frame is not good, but we we can fix maybe. We'll see. I don't know if it's worth though. Yeah, it's about time to clean the others. Project number three. Yeah, actually this one wasn't a necessary one, but it's one that's gonna make the boat so much safer and so much better. Yeah. With the steep angle of the deck, you're gonna feel safer to have something to hold that is actually strong. And also because we have a fourth project inside of the third <laughs> project. So we stole this idea from another YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell them. We just stole this project for them. No, you can tell. It's you can a tell nice them. Project. Yeah, it, actually, we watched a video a few months ago of a boat tour, and it was so good the idea that we said we need to do that on our boat. <laughs> do you guys know the channel called Expedition Drench? So basically, they bought this huge. I think it's like 75 feet steel sailboat. That's just amazing it's just so big we are really really excited with their new boat and on the tour it's a helicopter yeah we can there's always a helicopter when we want to start talking yeah so basically on their boat as the boat is so big instead of having a huge hose to wash the deck and for wherever they have a the hose inside of the pipe? Yeah, actually, I don't think they have a hose. I think the pipe is the already the hose. Ah, so they basically, have some plugs. So basically, the pipe is the pressure system, like it is, is a pressure water system that you just plug the small hose wherever you want, and you can use water. And they have fresh water in one side and salt water on the other side. And that's such a brilliant idea. Yeah, and that actually solved our problem. Yeah, we had a problem that we wanted to have some kind of water on the bow of the boat because many places where you anchor there is a lot of mud that comes on the chain mainly our, in our city mainly in our city it's like mud everywhere and our drain for the chain locker is not as big as we wish and it would be a huge problem uh, project to fix this problem and we need water because otherwise the the the, the mud it would come to the chain locker and it would lock the drain and then would fill up with water and actually the former owner had this problem once 
So basically, we wanted to have water, but we couldn't find a way of bringing the water from inside of the boat, from the pump, through the chain locker, because there is a bulkhead. There is a watertight bulkhead dividing the V-berth and the chain locker. And in order to change that, we would need to take apart the entire V-berth. Would be a yeah, it would be a mess. So basically, it's much easier to bring water through the stern of the boat than through the bow of the boat. So the idea is to make a hole from the the transom. Not really the transom, the top of the transom, the like right the before transom. the transom. That's the back of our bed. Yeah, because there is no insulation. It's just like an easy. area, that easy, easy area to access, easy to make a hole, easy to weld anything we need. And then to bring water from there to the bow. Yeah, actually not just to the bow. We want to take water. We were gonna have a salt water pump inside of the boat using the true hole of the diesel generator that we're not gonna use for now. So basically we're gonna have the water coming through the true hole of the diesel generator, going to a salt water pump, bringing to the stern of the boat, up to the deck, and we're gonna divide in two. One is gonna stay on the stern, so we can have water on the stern to clean fishes and feed and everything you need. And from there, we are gonna have the hose going inside of the tube of the railing all the way to the bow of the boat. The ring came back. I think the boat, once we finish this all this project, is gonna be so good. It's, it's just, it's such a long project. We thought we would finish before we travel to the US. Probably when we watch this video, we are in the US already. We are in Miami now. <laughs> yeah, we are in Miami, but we are here. <laughs> yeah, but basically we couldn't finish. We were supposed to finish, but this last week just rained so much. Yeah. Some days Pedro even wa was welding a little bit, waiting for the rain to we stop and weld a little bit. It yeah. was funny. We, we thought Pedro was not here. No, we thought he left and went to his <laughs> shop because it started raining. 
And then Duca went here to the boat to check Eduardo that was working and Pedro was there inside of the tent yeah. welding. Because I thought no one was on the boat, just Eduardo inside. And when I walked by the boat, the, the tent was really low and I see something like <laughs> hiding from the rain underneath the tent. I was like, what's that? Whoa, it's Pedro. I was like, Pedro, what are you doing there? No, I'm just waiting for the rain to pass. And then when the rain stopped, he wet a little bit more and the rain came back and he, he just he kept was going. All wet. Yeah, so then we're like, poor Pedro, we don't need to do that. If it's raining, we don't <laughs> weld. We wait until we have a good day. And now we're probably going to weld a little bit more tomorrow and then we travel. But in order to add this video, we cannot film tomorrow. Yeah. But we're going to show you more in detail once we finish this huge project. And the fourth one is related to the. Fifth, I think. Yeah, or, yeah, we have other. Next nice project. Yeah, and now we have a lot of like, small ones. The next project is related to the previous project. <laughs> yeah, one information we didn't tell you is that inside of the chain locker, there, there is also a small hole, a tiny hole, that is the briefing uh, hose for the diesel tank. But the former owner said that once the chain locker were, was filled with, with water, water and some salt water went to the diesel went tank. To, to the diesel yeah, tank. That, that's one thing that I never understood about the project. How do you put the briefing pipe inside of the chain locker? Because it doesn't make sense. Is the first place the salt water will come is the chain locker. So as the drain is so small, once he got is stuck with mud and he filled the chain locker with water and the water, as she said, went up to the diesel tank. And maybe actually that's the reason why we had problems with our diesel tank, because one day it, he had salt water inside and maybe he didn't took 100% of the salt from... We don't, know. we don't know. But nowadays, after this happened, he changed that. The hose that's there is just nothing, goes to nowhere. And he created a second hose that goes to the side of the boat. And this is the briefing hose for the diesel tank now. This was supposed to be a chimney. Yeah, actually this boat is ready to go to the cold weather, to Antarctica or wherever. And the, if you want to have a heater, that's where the chimney would be. But as we are not planning right now to go to any cold place and we won't have a heater right now, the chimney was just too big. Too big and it was hard to walk around the deck and it was easy to hit the, the, the legs there and it was hard to open the, the lid from the gas gas locker water. yeah the gas locker was just hard really hard i think even to take the gas off we would need to need take the to chimney check, off yeah. and then it was just huge chimney and we decided we don't need that now we just cut it off and yeah. then we of course are going to save this piece for the future if we need to use again we just weld it back and now pedro did the uh, slim cover for this place and yeah. it's really good and now actually it's even better because the former owner just left the hose for the diesel tank just loose there inside of the chimney now we actually welded a small tube a stainless steel tube that we can connect this hose and we can lock in place and in an angle that the water won't go up because it's like a siphon so it's it's going to be much good, better good project what else pedro did a uh, new filter for our diesel thing yeah that's another project because we thought it wouldn't make any harm to have an extra filter for the diesel tank right yeah so we're gonna actually Let's get the, the filter and we're going to show you in person. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> yeah. So this is the new filter for our diesel tank. Yeah, basically this is exactly where, you know, the, the round inspection head for the diesel tank is where the hose to get diesel to the engine is installed. And this is going to be right there. So basically you are going to have one of the filters on the little thing that gets diesel. A small one and the big one around so basically something all the dirt stops here and if some dirt goes inside it's gonna have another one inside so we have double filter now I think that's pretty good yeah that's that's a really good idea I think and this is gonna be installed one when we lock the diesel tank when we fill with diesel so right now it's just sitting on the boat one more thing too <laughs> yeah the boat's full of things that just sitting there but but we have one more project that's a really cool one. And this one, actually, we need to thank Pedro again. <laughs> Pedro, thanks a lot for the Christmas gift. Check this out. Do you remember our old barbecue grill? <laughs> yeah. We, we showed you some images of that already, but we can show you again. Yeah, the former owner actually stored dirt 22 years ago. That means it was so dirt. And he gave a new life to the barbecue now. Pedro gave. Yeah, he just... Of course, some of the rust wouldn't go off, but most of it went off and he did new railings and... And these... And, and these, and the whole... 
it's, Very new. <laughs> it's gonna last for a long time now. Thanks a lot, Pedro, and he didn't charge for that. This is a Christmas yeah. gift because <laughs> we have been doing so many projects with Pedro that he just gave us a treat. That's really awesome. We love it. And we can wait to, you know, have a barbecue on the boat. Mm -hmm. We have some more projects, yeah, don't we? Yeah, the anchor. The anchor. We bought a new anchor. You know when you do something impulsive? You know us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically a few months ago, we found a friend of a friend that had a really good anchor. Much better than the one we used to have. And was brand new because he bought and it's too big for his boat. He never used it before. So we decided to buy yeah, but and there was a problem. When we arrived here, we noticed that the anchor wouldn't fit on the thing that we on have the bow, there. Yeah, the bow is just, the, you know, the tip of the bow is just, we needed to change that. And we were like, we have two choices. We either sell this anchor mm -hmm. or we change the bow. But we really like the anchor and we already sold our former anchor to <laughs> the guy that bought our mess. He bought also our old anchor. So we are like, let's do another project with Pedro. <laughs> so one more thing we have been designing with him for the past month is the new way the anchor is going to be sitting there. And that's something that we didn't do yet, but we planned already, we took measurements, we are organizing things to get this done next month. And I think the last one would be... Uh, the one, I love this one, yeah. Yeah. I want the one that we really wanted to have since the beginning of the project. But we were thinking on doing Florianopolis, but as we are here for such a long time, yeah. we decided to do it now. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to have an extra arch on the cockpit. I don't know if you guys have seen a boat called Hunter. It's, I think it's the Hunter 42 or Hunter 44. Instead of the arch being on the stern of the boat, the arch is on the cockpit. And the reason for that is because the sheet for the main sail is on the top of the arch. And I think for our boat that would be really good because the spacing between the steering wheel and the sheet from the main is really tight space and that can become dangerous in a jibe or something, it, it can hit someone. I think we can talk about this arch project in a future video because there are so many specific, specific yeah, details let's keep this in one. this one. Yeah, let's keep this one for the keep future. For a future video. Yeah, basically we found a arch that was used on the boat yard on the garbage. You're talking you know. too much. See, I want to tell you guys, she won't let me. No, no, but no, no, yeah, no, it's that's a surprise. it. Yeah, that's a surprise for a future episode. We're not going to talk about this now, but it's really, really soon you're gonna when you're going to talk about that, right? Yeah. Other than that, so basically, if you don't know yet, we are going to be in New York from the 19th to the 23rd of this month. That means this week. And on Saturday, the 22nd, we are going to be at UK Sailmakers in Port Chester. We are going to have a meetup and we are going to have a presentation about our project, about our journey to here our future plans and everything you can imagine. We are also going to be in the UK sail makers to design our new sails for the boat because we have a mast already and that's really cool. That's what we are going to talk about next week, right? Yeah, we are right now preparing two episodes to for you guys for when we are going to be in the US and the next one is about our mast that just arrived this week. <laughs> so yeah, we can talk about the mast next week, but basically we're going to go to New York to start talking about the sails and to figure out a sail plane, a new sail plane for the boat. You guys and are invited, so if you have any doubts, there is a link on the description below, you can check the information yeah. there. It's going to be really cool. We're going to have a hangout and we're going to talk about <laughs> past, present and future. <laughs> and we're going to be open to talk about anything you, you would like to hear, anything you want to know about us, just show up. We're going to love to meet some of you guys in person. Yeah. But if you want to go, just go to the description go to the event page on Facebook and confirm your presence because or it's a small place we cannot we need to know how many people are going to If you don't go. have a Facebook there is an email here so you can Yeah, you can also confirm, confirm by email. Yeah, you either confirm on Facebook event or by email because we need to know how many people are going to show up. Just to organize the I event. think that's it, right? Yeah. We, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion of this episode. It's just tough to organize ideas when it's just... And we are in a hurry to get ready to go to the US. We need to clean the boat, to organize the boat, to Yeah, we have so many things to do. And at the same time, it's a project that we've been doing for such a long time that our, all the pieces are disconnected <laughs> from each other. And of course, by now you understood already that we didn't finish the rating yet. We were supposed to, but we couldn't. We had a lot of rain, it's just, just the way it is. Yeah. But once we finish, we're going to show you all in details the way the hose is going to go inside, the way everything is going to work out, and the way the boat's going to be safer. <laughs> so that's it for this week. Yeah, let's welcome on board our new patrons for this week. 
So, welcome aboard. Johan. Anika. Aaron Duncan. Justin. All. Jonathan. Alexander. Emma. And once again, thanks a lot, Carlos Alberto, for the donation to our PayPal. Guys, thanks so much. We really, really appreciate your support. And I guess we see you guys next, next Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, next, ter- next, next Saturday in Port Chester, New York. If you can show up. Otherwise, we see you guys next, next Monday. Monday. <laughs> see you guys next Monday. <laughs>